the beast. Belle and her father lived in a little cottage next to a big dark house. They never saw who lived there, but they adored its beautiful garden. One day, Belle's father came home with a rose. I picked it for you from the garden of the big house, he said. But a terrible beast came out of the house in a rage, he wept. He told me to send my daughter in return for the rose, or he would kill me. Don't worry, Belle said softly. I'll go. She said goodbye and slipped through the huge gates. Inside the gates, Belle looked at the big house. It was quiet and still. Nobody came to greet her, so she crept in through the open door. When she had eaten, Belle explored the house. She found a painting of a handsome prince, jewel boxes, seashells and other pretty things, and a harp that played music all by itself. But she still didn't find the beast. When she felt tired, birds led her upstairs. To the prettiest bedroom she had ever seen. Belle looked in a mirror and the prince from the painting appeared. Who are you? I live here, said the prince, but I can only appear at night in your mirror. They chatted and soon it felt as if they were old friends. I was lonely before you came, said the prince. Now I'm here, I'll talk to you every night, Belle promised. But where is the beast? The prince looked sad. He's hiding so as not to frighten you. He'll talk to you tomorrow. In the morning, Belle wandered outside. A voice spoke to her from nearby. Are you happy here? It asked gently. It was a beast, and he sounded kind. Everything is lovely, Belle answered. They chatted, and Belle grew fond of him. Then Belle said to him, I wish you would just show yourself. So the beast did. Belle was frightened. I want to go home, she whispered. The beast looked sad. Very well, he said. In a shimmer of magic, Belle found herself back home. Thank goodness you are safe, cried her father. Of course I am, said Belle. The beast is very kind. I think he just wants to be loved. She thought of the beast's gentleness. Suddenly, she knew she didn't want to leave him after all. I must go back, she said. She rushed back and found the beast in his garden. He looked as if he would die of sorrow. Please, don't be sad, she begged. I love you. In that very moment, the beast was a beast no longer. Oh, you are the prince from the painting, Belle cried. Yes, the prince smiled. Your love has set me free. The end.